I'm Eden. This is Pop Dust Presents, and we're here with Car Aster. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Um, your performance was so beautiful um, and you. really moving and very different from kind of the recordings of yours that I've heard. So um, how do you feel about kind of switching between that like dance music that's like very exuberant and this kind of like very personal stripped down type of performance? I think it's like in my blood to be half and half like that. Like mm -hmm. I grew up loving really stripped down stuff and also grew up loving like pop rock. So uh, yeah, I just think I'm always going to do both no matter like what type of music I'm recording. I actually just recorded like eight songs that are kind of more in the stripped down like folk vein that I'm just going to put out too because like I don't think I should put myself in a box. So yeah, that's awesome. Definitely yeah. my strategy as an indecisive person is just do everything. That's me too. I don't make decisions. So. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, so you recently, or you recently changed your name to Car Aster and I wanted to ask kind of a, if you could just tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind that. My real name is Carly and people call me Car. So that was obvious. Uh, the Aster part, I'm a Gemini, which leads to the indecisiveness mm. with the music making. Okay. Um, and the Gemini twins are Castor and Pollux. So oh, okay. I took Castor ironically took off the C, which used to be my old name was C, and oh. now it's Car Aster. I don't know if that made any sense, but in my no, head it does, it's funny. it does, Because you still have the C at the beginning, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it works. That's, yeah, exactly. that's awesome. I was reading, you kind of have taken a bit of time off from performing, and you've been kind of like, I don't know, doing some soul searching, I think I read in an interview, so uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I put out uh, an EP in 2016 and I honestly like had no clue what I wanted like to be like as an artist and I performed so much that year and like one song did pretty well and I think all of that uh, just changed my perception of like what I wanted to do and like I needed to grow apart from putting that out there to the world. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, totally. I went through like a lot of life changes, like got out of a very long relationship and like really was starting to make decisions about like what kind of artist I wanted to be. So yeah, sounds like a lot, but also like good material yeah. for writing. No, it's so much good material for writing. So yeah. it was a very good year to like actually get the songs out that I feel like I needed mm -hmm. to get out. Anything you did in particular um, in the vein of if anyone's looking for advice on how to find themselves, did you walk around oh. at night or like, what did you do? I wish I had advice. I feel like it really was just me like laying in my bed and being like, what the fuck? And like <laughs> sitting there and like thinking about it, but also like talking to a lot of friends and like just leaning on people like that. So yeah, very cool. nothing special. Mm -hmm. And did you get any songs um, out of that period? Yeah, all of the songs that I have written for the new releases all were from experiences that have happened like the past year and a half or so. Yeah. So written in the moment, usually like the day of or the day after something happened. Okay, awesome. So in terms of like inspiration, um, do you mostly draw from like your daily events or like do you ever write kind of like fictional songs? I don't write fictional songs at all and I kind of wish I could because I love when people do that mm -hmm. but to me I like can't get behind it emotionally well yeah the performance we just saw was like extremely it felt extremely vulnerable but also like very powerful it was thank like, a cool you mix thank of that. you <laughs> do you like work to make your music especially honest or like how do you feel about kind of like that sort of raw expression through music I think that's the most important thing like if I if someone wants to say anything about me I hope that it's that they think that I'm an honest lyricist and singer like, no matter what the production sounds like or anything else, I think that's what I want to be known for. Yeah. Do you find it harder to sort of communicate those honest messages through, like, your dancier tracks? Or does that, do you find it comes through there as well? I think it does come through there, which is why I like doing it. Because I think that mm -hmm. that's different. Like, not, you can still be honest and have that raw expression without it being just a guitar and a mm -hmm. voice. You know what? I, like, it's actually yeah. a challenge for me. So I, I love that. Yeah. That's awesome, because I think, yeah, the stereotype is definitely, like, the stripped down is the honest, and then, like, the manufactured Which we love, is produced. Which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's really cool, because I think there is, like, a lot of power in those dance songs as well, like, to draw out emotion. So. Thank you, yeah. yeah. Do you like to dance or, like, go out? No, and <laughs> I hate dancing. Um, I'm really shy. I'm an introvert, mostly, mm -hmm. um, so I don't know why I have this job, but <laughs> that's, that's that. 
Uh, but I love like I like dancing in my car like to the mm-hmm. songs I make. So like that, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so how does it feel to like perform those types of things like and see people dancing and like doing things that you don't necessarily do in your daily life? I actually I haven't performed the new stuff with a full band yet. So I'm really looking mm-hmm. forward to that. But I think I love that juxtaposition of like me not being like that and mm-hmm. then like bringing out that emotion of other people. I would hope that would happen. Who inspires you in terms of songwriting? Like whose lyrics kind of do it for you? I would say my favorite lyricist is Jeff Buckley. Um, But I mean, overall, like I grew up listening to like Radiohead and No Doubt Mm -hmm. and Paramore and like a lot of female fronted bands and stuff. So all of them I love too for different reasons. Yeah, I saw a bit of the Haley Williams kind of energy coming through. So. Yeah, we all have it if we like are my <laughs> age. <laughs> it's impossible not to. Yeah, totally. Uh, so in terms of upcoming projects, what what's on the horizon? So I have a new single coming out very soon, I think in the next month. And then I have a music video coming out that should be finished tonight if I get the file, which would be great. Okay. And then just more singles and videos after that mm-hmm. for right now. Do you have a favorite song to perform? Almost always. It's been the song Close Eyes Open. That was on my first EP. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it has like this very big build. Mm -hmm. So as of right now, that's my favorite one. But I have new ones that haven't come out yet that I feel like will replace that soon. Okay. So. Exciting. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Lots lots of stuff on the horizon. Yeah. So much. So much. Yeah. And in terms of your background, you started as a drummer, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, how do you feel that informs kind of your songwriting? I've been told by people, and I'm just going by what people have said, that like rhythmically, like I place things a little differently. Mm-hmm. I think maybe since like I grew up in the drumming background, like I, I maybe just have like a different sense of rhythm. Mm-hmm. So uh, that is, I feel like how it comes through. But I also love percussion, like in like Girlfriend and Don't Stop. Mm-hmm. Like there's so many background layers of little percussion because that's like one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. 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 I think I could see that even in your playing here. It was just kind of like very rhythmic rhythmic yeah, yeah. exactly so <laughs> that's good yeah uh and girlfriend is a is an awesome song i actually like have a friend who went through the exact situation that you described <gasps> oh my so God, i'll I feel be sending so that bad for them i'm it's, so sorry <laughs> but it's good that it you know it hits on like a common experience i mm. think so yeah not a good one <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you so much and a uh, beautiful beautiful stuff can't thank wait to you see so what much. happens next thanks for having me <laughs>